All right, gentlemen, today we're going to talk about how women will test you forever. And when I say forever, I am not kidding, okay? Women will test you literally for the rest of your life, and I'll get into it at the end, but it's actually one of the best things to improve yourself. If you are the type of man that actually wants to be something, if you want to be something great, women and the feedback they give you is the best tool that you will ever get for your own self-development, okay? And I'll explain why. So I'm obviously, like I said already, I'm not kidding about you know women testing you all the time. Women are hardwired to test you for strength, okay? And you have to be the best fit for her at all times. And it's not her fault. It has nothing to do with, with her being like a bad person. She is hardwired genetically, biologically, to want strength, to want you to protect her, okay? And you are hardwired biologically to protect your girl, okay? To protect your woman, okay? And so we can complain about it all we want, but we'd just be fighting science, and that's fucking stupid. So it, it works this way for a reason, right? It makes us strong. All right. At the end of the day, we want to be stronger. We want to be stronger and feel more powerful. Have you ever wanted to feel weaker? Like, let me ask you that. Women might say yes. Women might say, oh, I wanted to feel small. I wanted to feel safe. A man, you've never wanted to feel weaker. Maybe you haven't wanted to feel stronger because it meant you had to, you know, be uncomfortable, you know, push yourself through something difficult. But at the end of the day, you need to feel strong. You need to feel stronger. And so women testing you is actually making you stronger. So if you're a butthurt little bitch, about it, then uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just not the way life works, and you're better off just embracing it. So, you know, you know, women will, will test you for dates. They'll test you in the long term as well. You know, they'll do things like pull back after the first date. You know, she'll act like she's in the lead. Like I'm in the lead now. My my girl still does that. Like we're engaged to be married, and, and she's literally like still doing that shit. And I just, you know, I just kind of nudge her back. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, no, you're not. That's silly. That's funny, right? Um, she'll push your buttons. She'll assume authority when she doesn't need to. Um, she'll try to take control of the situation. She will flirt with other men in front of you, make a, a little too much eye contact. Um, I, I would actually like avoid women that do this past the the first couple dates. The the first couple dates, it's actually fine. Like, you know, if she catches you like making eyes with a girl or something, like that that's actually fine because you're still a man that goes for what you want, and, and she's like playing her options. She's seeing if you're going to be insecure. But at the end of the day, like when she's assuming authority, when she's taking control of the situation, you need to take control back. And I don't mean this by like, oh, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be in control here. No, it's like, hey, <laughs> no, we're going this way, right? She goes, oh, I think we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. Let's go. And you just lead, okay? She'll do things like nag you. This is a longer term one. But when women start nagging you, it's because you're being incongruent. You're not being a man. You're not, she doesn't feel like you're a man and she's testing you to make sure that you are still that man. And if, if you crumble and you get emotional and you turn into a soft little crying bitch, then she's not going to respect you anymore. And women love men that they respect. They don't love men that they like. Okay. Complaining about wanting to see you more. She'll do this a lot, especially if you're on your purpose. If you're in, you know, if you're in your twenties or even your early thirties and you're starting to get your shit together, because there's a lot of guys like that in this program. If you're one of those guys, then you need to understand that when she complains about wanting to see you more, that is not more important than her respect for you, okay? That is not more important than your purpose, okay? Your purpose always comes first. Your vision of excellence always comes first without question. There is no question about it. Her short-term emotions, and I'll get into this rule later, but her short-term emotions don't mean a fucking thing in the long run, okay? Her respect and how attracted she is to you, that's what matters, okay? She'll tell, you to, she'll tell you to change from your purpose, to sway from your purpose. She'll test you with intimacy. She'll tell you, hey, baby, you can come over. I know you said you have to go to bed early, but come on. like we, we, I just want you to fuck me so bad. She'll say things like that. But guess what? As soon as you do, she loses respect. All right. And every time she loses respect for you, every time you have a 1% loss, you are fucking yourself. Okay. So these are some, some pre-test or pre-first date tests. Okay. I don't know if it's a good idea <laughs> to give you my number. It's like when you're talking to her, you know, I don't know if I want to go to coffee. Let's eat here instead. No, we're going to coffee. That was the plan, right? Like that's how you would handle it. Um, you know, canceling last minute, you know, the, the day before even like canceling, just be like, Hey, it, you know, if this happens to you, by the way, I can just give you actionable advice for this. If this happens to you, literally just tell her, Hey, if you want to see me, you will have to reach out. If you want to see me, you will have to reach out to me. I'm busy and I, I would like to see you. You seem cool. But if you want to see me, you will have to make it happen now because I, I can't, you know, I can't be flaky like this. Cool. Awesome. 
and and she'll usually even come back around and be like, oh no, I actually, you know, I'm actually free. Okay. She'll try to pick the music you play. <laughs> when you're driving, she might try to pick the music you play and don't let her. <laughs> you're in your car. Don't let her do it. Okay. Um, you don't have to be an asshole. Don't be an asshole about it actually. Like, like treat it like it's silly. Treat it like it's funny. Okay. Um, just whatever you do, don't go with the flow. Guys that go with the flow are soft, weak, and easily manipulated. Okay. And so you're only going to end up in relationships with women that don't respect you and uh, abuse that easygoing nature, or you're going to end up with women that just aren't attracted to you and their, their pussy's like dry as hell at the end of the day. Okay. So stop going with the flow so much. Don't be so afraid to offend. We've already talked about this before, but it, it's good for reiterating, you know, you need to not be afraid to offend. Stop being so afraid. Okay. If you don't get tested, you are dead in the water. Okay, man. Like at the end of the day, you know, if she, if she doesn't test you, you are not a real man in her eyes. And that is just true. Okay. You are just not a real man. All right. She needs to think of you as a real man that's worth testing. Okay. She needs to, you know, she tests you without thinking about it. It's not her fault. She's just hardwired to do it. She doesn't test you so that you can like fail it. She doesn't want you to fail. Women don't want you to fail the test or else they'd be happy when you failed. They're actually turned on when you pass. It's because you're confirming what they thought about you. Okay. Think about any past breakup. I've had breakups like this. I've had relationships where the woman stopped testing me and guess what happened? It fell apart. I broke up with her, but at the end of the day, she should have broke up with me. I was being a fucking loser. Okay. And I need you guys to understand that if she stops testing you, you're fucked. Okay. If she stopped testing you, you're fucked. All right. How has that gone for you in the past? If women stop testing you, usually it's when they lose interest. They lose interest because like they, they lose interest because they've tested you enough that they know that you suck. Okay. They know that you're weak. They know that you're soft. Okay. So you need to stop being so scared to offend. All right. Now you need to hold to your frame forever. And I'm going to show you how to do this. You need to be in hundred percent alignment with your vision of excellence. Okay. So this is easy stuff. This is like easy ground rules for, you know, if you need to check yourself, say you're watching this and you're actually not sure how to pass tests. You know, women are testing you. Maybe your relationships have been falling apart. Maybe you've been in the program for a while and you have a few different women. Maybe you're coming back to this after six months of not being in the program anymore. Um, or you extended with us and you're in the mastermind. Like no matter what that looks like, if you're coming here to learn how to check yourself and see if you're actually passing tests, if you're being the man you need to be, these are some easy do's and don'ts. Okay. So absolutely do not engage in short-term pleasure. Okay. Don't engage in mindless entertainment. Stop consuming social media and don't do things that don't align with your vision. Your vision of excellence, you should be figuring out what that is every single day. Every single day you should be working at that. What's that look like? Exactly, exactly what I need to do. You know, what, what, what's the next step for me to move towards my vision? What's that look in my, in my fitness? What's that look like in my finances? What's that look like in my career? What's that look like in my relationships? What type of women do I want around? And am I in alignment with that all the time? Okay. And if you're not doing that, you're fucked. All right. So the opposite of that is obviously to do delay gratification, do exercise and push your body, challenge yourself, challenge your emotions and your beliefs, surround yourself with other strong men that will actually challenge your beliefs. And if you don't have a social circle, by the time you're done with this program, we have the mastermind for that reason. Because a lot of guys, you're just not in an area where you can connect with very strong masculine men, or you don't have the skill level of communication to connect with those strong masculine men. And you need an environment like that to push your emotions and push your beliefs and challenge you. Okay. You need to earn your sleep every single day. If you don't earn your sleep, what I mean by that is do enough hard work to where you actually need the sleep, where you actually are like, fuck, I am tired at 9 p.m. If you do that every single day, there is no way. Imagine a world where you do that every day. You push yourself every day and challenge yourself to grow and be stronger. There's no world where you don't get better, where you don't live a life that you that you actually want to. Okay. The ideal man doesn't like does nothing, right? Actually does yeah, does nothing. The ideal man does nothing that's misaligned with his purpose. So if something is not aligned with your purpose, don't do it. You're never gonna do it hundred percent of the time. You know, doing a hundred percent of the time, like your head movement and your breath and everything. That's never going to be 100% in alignment with your purpose. But that's what you should be striving for. Because if you strive for perfection, you will get damn close. Okay, and so you have to be in alignment with your purpose because you plan on being the man forever, okay? Like this is a concept I want to talk about. Like you want to be the man forever, right? You don't want to be the man for eight weeks. You don't want to be the man for 
for six months and then you date the girl and then maybe you're the man for a year and then you get married and then you stop being the man and she leaves you, cheats on you and takes half your shit. <laughs> you don't want that, obviously. And so your vision of excellence is actually the North Star for all your actions. And this is how I always say the right thing. I always seem to do the right thing in my audios. It's, it's, it's not just because I handpick shit. Um, obviously, I handpick shit to show you what works. But at the end of the day, like I say the right thing because it aligns with my purpose. And when I'm strong and on my purpose and focused like and, and everything's in alignment, women are attracted to me. Women are very attracted. And so, you know, the number one threat to your happiness is like, it's not passing shit tests in the long run, okay? Like big shit tests are easy to spot, you know, like the ultimatums, like, oh no, like let's go this way or, oh no, you're being such an asshole. Oh, like all that stuff is, is very easy to spot. Her really compromising uh, your values if you go along with it, okay? But here's what's actually scary. Say you're three years into a relationship and she says, baby, can we eat Italian tonight instead? A lot of guys would be like, oh yeah, sure, that's fine. Guess what? You just got a 1% loss and you have all that emotional investment. You know, she's emotionally invested in you and she loves you. So maybe that doesn't break the camel's back, but enough of those losses and she will start to lose respect. Okay, baby, you're working too much. I miss you. You know, baby, please watch this reality show with me. Watch this drama show with me. I Oh, please, please, baby, please. Enough yeses to stuff like that, enough failed shit tests, the relationship will start to decline, right? She'll start nagging you. And then this is like 10 years into a marriage, right? She's, she's nagging you and you're just doing stuff to get her to stop nagging you instead of doing it because you said you'd follow through. Say you, you were going to clean out the garage and you're just cleaning out the garage because she's, she's bitching at you. But a real man goes, you know what? Actually, I did say I was going to clean out the garage. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to do it. You're right. Thank you. And that's what a fucking man says. A, a boy, a little boy that she loses respect for and, and that dries her pussy up is going to say something like, oh, like, oh, man, I'll just do it so you stop fucking complaining about it, right? Maybe you've been there. You know, running away from confrontation, not solving problems as they come up. Um, you know, a good example is, yeah, taking out the trash so you won't, you know, she won't complain about it. Not because you said you would, right? You have to follow through. Okay, so these are all examples of, of shit tests that actually are long-term, right? Those are the scary ones because you can never show true weakness, okay? And, and how do you actually do that? Well, you have to introspect on your values and masculinity and protect it at all costs, Okay. This slow degradation of your morals, your values, and your vision will kill you. It will literally kill you, okay? Because this is the most dangerous part. This whole training, if you take anything from this training, it's that women will slowly over time degrade your morals, values, and principles if you let them, okay? We aren't stupid. It's not like we're dumbass dumbasses, right? We just need to remind ourselves what our morals, values, and in actual principles are okay so mindset work every day this has helped me so much in my relationship prevents me from falling off track and it reminds me also introspection journaling i don't think i mentioned this enough but journaling is literally the best tool for your self-development that i've ever found it is the highest impact highest leverage action that you could ever take in this entire program okay and I'm being so fucking serious by this, all right? So I want you to actually journal and create a failure plan, okay? What's something that you're gonna do every time you fall off your purpose, every time you fail? Because that is the only way that you're gonna stay on track. Because a lot of men, what, what weak men do, like what do weak men do? They sit around and they complain about how they failed. And then they don't, they don't get off their ass, they, they don't do anything about it, they don't change. And so what can you do as a man to have a plan in place? When you fail, what do you do? Set that up for yourself. Because if you have that, you're, you're going to do something better. All right. Um, and I just want to end on this. You should love being shit tested. <laughs> you should love being tests. <laughs> you should love being tested. Okay. Because it might feel like shit now. But here is the deal, man. Do you want to be mediocre? Do you actually want to be average? Do you want to wake up? one day with regrets? Do you want to die wishing you had more in life, 
right? Do you want to be the man you know you can be? Do you actually want that? Because if you do, then thank fucking God we have women, okay? There is no better tool for self-development than feminine energy. Because here's the thing, all the, all the journaling, all the introspection, everything that I've told you to do in this video, everything I've told you to take action on, all the examples I've given you, feminine energy testing you and making sure you're strong and just looking at her, this is more of an advanced thing, but like when you can tell she's not as attracted to you, when you can tell you upset her a little bit, but not in a way where it's like she's short-term upset, but in a way where she lost respect and she gets worried about your relationship. If you can start noticing those things in your woman, then you will have the best feedback system of all time to stay masculine as much as possible, okay? So I wanted to share this with you guys. Great, great training. I'm gonna get into the next one.